88 production and special vehicle crews from Botswana, Lesotho and all over South Africa entered for the Nissan Sugarbelt 400, organised by the Natal Off-Road Motor Club and rated as the best organised event in two. Lap 2 and De Villiers and Jordan were still in the lead in the proudly South African Nissan Hardbody. Despite the intermittent misfire, Robla and Leek held down second place in another proudly South African Nissan Hardbody, but were being hunted down by Woolridge and Scorphammer in the Team Ford Racing Ranger. Foss and Griffith were still officially third overall on corrected time in the proudly South African Nissan Hardbody. But what of the Class E battle? Cronier and Birkin's Castrol Toyota Hilux was the leading vehicle on the road, but officially third in class on corrected time. Schroeder and Peckham followed in the Team Ford Racing Ranger and were second in class on corrected time. Class E leaders on corrected time, Kasi Gutsia and Oki Furi started 46th in the Castrol Toyota Hilux and were classified 5th overall in the production vehicle category. Another giant killing performance was in the making. Alfie Cox and Henny Thurstierha started 29th in the Arnold Chats car Nissan Hardbody and were now 13th overall and 1st in Class D on corrected time. Grobler and Prinsler started 28th in the GBS Racing Nissan Hardbody, now 20th overall, 2nd in Class D over five minutes behind Cox. Jongen, dit is baie beter gewerk, dit is beplan dat dit gaan werk. As het uh, drie van ons bak is, het baie goed klaar gemaakt in die kaart. Maar of het baie trots is, ons hoop ons kan het hierdie jaar verder so doen. En daar hou, en goed klaar maak, en probeer win. As wel graag die kampioenskap en die GBS team hou vir hierdie jaar. Marius van Vieren en Chris Maria were third in Class D in the Alberanti Land Rover. Dakar star De Villiers and Jordan were still in the lead in the proudly South African Nissan Hardbody, but were coming under increasing pressure from teammates Grobla and Leek in the misfiring proudly South African Nissan Hardbody. <laughs> Power steering on the Team Ford Racing Ranger had failed, and Woolridge had to use all his strength to keep the vehicle on the road. Woolridge and Scorphammer were forced to slow their pace and were eventually classified 10th overall and 5th in Class T at the end of the second lap. Griffith maintained station in the proudly South African Nissan Hardbody and were third overall in Class T at the end of lap two. The prolonged bat of Gerald Mandel and Billy Bond performed faultlessly and the pair comfortably led the special vehicle category ahead of Dowse and Rutherford in the Nashua Mobile Racing Chenoweth. Dowse picked up three punches and would have his work cut out if he hoped to close the nine-minute gap on Mandel. The O'Hagan's Kapalong Hotel Super Team Jimco was experiencing overheating problems which forced their Weirsmith and Minute to slow their pace. No water. Um, the water is obviously an airlock in the system and uh, it's blowing all the water out. So we're just putting some water in now and uh, it's press on. We've got an um, uh, electrical problem with Hannes' car, so it's running on five cylinders some of the time. We're going actually exceptionally well, but maybe worse, uh, Duncan and Janiel have both got a bug and they're both vomiting in the car at the moment. So um, we're a bit concerned about that because of dehydration and obviously what they're going through. So we'll see if we can get them something at one of the stops. Krobler and Leek moved into a 32-second lead at the end of lap two, and with De Villiers and Jordan retiring their proudly South African Nissan hardbody with steering problems, the pressure was off the veteran pair who now looked set for their fifth consecutive victory.
With the Duplessis couple and Weir Smith and Minnett out of the running, special vehicle leaders Mundell and Bond only had to worry about Dowson and Rutherford. Schroeder and Peckham took the Class E lead from Critzi and Fleury, now fourth in the production vehicle category. Marcus Taylor and Mark de Chalane claimed back the Class B lead from Andrew Birkin and were an amazing second overall in the special vehicle category. The ever-smiling Alfie Cox and Henny Terstiecher had a 20-minute lead over Class D rivals Frobler and Prinzlur, while the Class S lead was held by Nick Gosler and Glenn Stain in the O'Hagan Skopelung Hotel Super Team Race Go. Class S contenders Mohamed Noor and Mohamed Maltzen had a troubled run in their race co. It's okay, we just got an electrical problem here. 20 minutes. Try. Hannes Hrobler and Richard Leek as they headed out on the third and final lap of the Nissan Sugarbelt 400. There appeared to be no stopping the veteran pair as they continued on their quest for a fifth consecutive and record equaling feat, last achieved in 1986 by Hrobler and MSA Off-Road Car Racing Commission President Pete Swanepoel, also in a Nissan. and Skorphammer had overtaken Foss and Griffith but were still fourth in Class D on corrected time. Woolridge and Skorphammer, like Cox, have a great success record in off-road motorcycling and have made a successful transition from two to four wheels. Foss was starting to feel the effects of dehydration brought about by the motion sickness, but soldiered on in the proudly South African Nissan hardbody. Meanwhile, teammate Tabilius was back at the pits and on a trip.